right now. We are in Lexington, Kentucky. Fixing to go visit a grave site which is near and dear to my heart, so please stay tuned. One of the other interesting things is Henry Clay is buried out here in Lexington Cemetery. There's a lot of beautiful graves out here. And there's a squirrel. I believe that's a mausoleum back there. This is a very beautiful cemetery. They picked a very good place to bury Mr. Mr. Varney. John Clay. So we're getting closer to Jim Varney's grave. I'm not sure if there's a bridge we have to cross or what, but we are definitely getting closer. So while we were out here in Lexington, I just wanted to come and pay my respects to someone that you know, I've admired for years and years and someone that I've grown up watching and I've loved and you know, he's inspired me to be a better person and to want to just to treat people good and he always came across as so humble and and just kind-hearted, you know. And I, uh, you know, he was typecast a lot, but I grew up watching the Ernest and movies and the commercials and I loved him. Loved every second of them. I thought they were always funny, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna miss you, old buddy. But yeah, here we are, just paying our respects to Jim Barney. Here he is. People have put things on his grave. There's a picture of him, flowers, a guitar. I actually brought something for him too. Hold this. I actually brought a little turtle for the parachute. Because that was one of the first Ernest movies I ever watched was, was Ernest Goes to Camp. And I've always just loved that, that movie. And so there you go, buddy. I miss you. I miss you a lot. Suffer the little children to come unto me. Mark 10, 14. Well, anyways, so... Yeah. They're, uh... Get, I just get choked up. But, you know, he, uh, he was a slinky dog in Toy Story. Played Jed Clampett in, um, Beverly Hillbillies. Of course, did all the Ernest movies. There was other things he did. He had a Johnny Cash, you know, and Friends special, and it was absolutely hilarious. But he uh, got lung cancer because he was a chain smoker and you know, claimed his life. Unfortunately, he lost the battle in February 10th, the year 2000. I still remember that day. It's pretty sad. Pretty sad being out here. Let me see you. Thanks for watching.